Okay, uh, Assalamualaikum and good morning. Today I would like to share with you a uh, learning style which is called uh, PBL approach. I just would like to share with you before I go further. Uh, previously we learned in class, uh, the lecturer will be active in the class. But now with this approach, actually we want the student to be uh, active in the class. So this method will actually uh, delegate the student to do their own learning compared to the previous or the traditional style of learning which is the lecturer are more active than the student all right the objective of this uh, uh, learning outcome is that that you can respond to issues related to critical and creative thinking because this uh, i would like to share with you this is a topic for critical and creative thinking all right uh, what is pbl Okay, PBL or, or problem based learning is a learning method that uses the real problem that are relevant and meaningful as a focus in the learning process. And according to Smith, PBL provides an environment in which students can draw upon peer knowledge, learn within the real world context and reinforce the knowledge through independent and small uh, group work uh, together. All right. Um, the history of PBL is actually started 30 years back ago uh, in Canada, Faculty of Medicine, where uh, the school finds that the student is very uh, difficult to accept the knowledge or the content of the curriculum uh, transferred to the knowledge is very hard to deliver to the student. So therefore, they are looking for a method on how to deliver the, or to transfer the knowledge to the student. So it, it, there's a transformation bef uh, within the faculty-centered learning into the student-centered learning. All right, and it's interdisciplinary process. Even though you are in medical or you are in other social science, all kind of uh, disciplinary you will be uh, engaged to uh, within the process of learning. All right. Okay. Now, uh -huh. actually, uh, inculcate both the process and also the curriculum of the uh, learning process of the syllabus. Um, the learner acquisition is actually uh, a selected uh, problem uh, that will be uh, acquired from the learner acquisition where they are acquired to have certain skill which is critical knowledge, problem solving proficiency, self-directed learning strategies and team participation skills where the process replicates the commonly used system, systemic approach to resolving problems or meeting challenges they are encountered in life and career. Okay, other definition of PBL is that um, Bot and Fallaty uh, uh, mentioned that uh, PBL provides a stimulus for learning uh, where Dutch 1995 uh, informed that PBL is a method that challenges students to learn how to learn. And uh, for Finkel and Top, uh, said that uh, PBL is a development and instructional approach built around an ill-structured problem where uh, Sanford uh, mentioned that uh, define uh, PBL as uh, promotes active learning. The principle of PBL is that the problem or it starts from a problem or trigger and uh, the learning process started from the problem is a real problem and it's a student-centered learning. The student were given guidance on how to solve a trigger or the problem. So the lecturers have to be creative in generating an appropriate ill-structured problem or trigger related to the topic. And the lecturer here will not feed the student with uh, all the information, but only the guidance as a facilitator, counselor or motivator for the student. So trigger or problem based on actual situation according to their field. So why PBL? So actually the desired of uh, education outcome is that with PBL, we hope that uh, the student confidence level will be boosted up uh, compared to the previous one where the lecturer more confidence than the students and then the student's learning uh, process will be independently. So the student will look for all the information needed or the info education material that will support their learning process. And then uh, student will be active contributor in the class. So the class won't be passive, yeah? it will be active. And uh, the student with the, the knowledge and skills developed among the students 
hopefully the outcome will be the, the student will become a concerned citizen in the future all right so uh, another, another aspect of PBL is that we hope that we can develop a balanced human where we have certain skills that the student can develop through PBL which is cognitive skill critical thinking information uh, gathering collection global awareness cross-cultural civic liter literacy and communication skill so uh, how you would do PBL uh, with uh, Excel leadership development program they promote a five ladder of PBL which is ladder one uh, contains FILA table which is uh, acronym FF is about facts I is about idea L is about learning issues and A is about actions letter two students self-directed learning where the student have to look for information they go to the library or they go to uh, uh, other place or they go for internet search to get for information letter three compilation of facts and preparation for presentation so the student will come into groups and they will compile all their information that they gather before and letter four they have to do the presentation letter five all the students in the group will do their reflection about the process the learning process all right next video will, will inform more detail about the five letters with that, thank you very much for listening.